Well, it's Paris because uh, France was most definitely the battleground that was the most scarred uh, during uh, World War I. It was also a, a country that was very symbolic, and this is where soldiers from around the world came to fight uh, during uh, this war. The countries these soldiers were from are indeed symbolized by the 70 world leaders who are uh, here today. But the flame of the unknown soldier is a tribute to all these men, millions of men who died on the battlefield, a lot of which were unrecognizable. Their bodies were uh, destroyed uh, to the extent that it was impossible to know who was indeed, uh, who, who these bodies were. Now, there are many sites in France uh, with a, a huge military cemeteries on, in which, well, uh, a majority of uh, tombs bear no name uh, because, uh, well, very simply, so many people were killed. For example, if you take the first day of the Battle of the Somme uh, back in 1915, well, during the first day of that battle alone, 20,000 men uh, were killed. And as you can imagine, this was the first industrial era war, if you will, uh, with bombs, with shells, uh, with uh, massive damage to, to the human body. It's also important to note that after this war, uh, there were many, many people who were the gueule cassée, as we call them here, uh, men who had suffered uh, terrible mutilation, including uh, to their face, and whose lives obviously uh, were destroyed. It was uh, a terrible, terrible uh, loss of life. Now, obviously, figures differ from one expert to another, but an estimated 10 million soldiers died uh, during this conflict. Uh, many were wounded as well, and uh, the violence of these trenches and these battles uh, in the north of France uh, has been commented many, many times. People losing their lives uh, to try and gain a few yards uh, in some occurrences. And, uh, well, indeed, uh, this is the symbolism of this flame, the importance of this flame, which burns 24-7 uh, and has been uh, for many, many years. But on the 11th of November, indeed, it is revived symbolically, uh, so we will be seeing that very shortly. Okay, James.